Gamer Tom here. The video that you are about to watch is a short excerpt from a course that I have all about drainage, waste, and vents. The difference between plumbers who know what they are doing and those who do not is whether they understand drainage, waste, and vent principles. This course is designed to help you to understand all of that and to become a true master of the trade. So check it out. There's a link below. You can enroll in the course. I hope to see you there. Let's get into some examples of horizontal wet venting. Let's look at a half bathroom first, a simple toilet and a lav. In this case, we have a three inch line going to the toilet. It branches off and the drain for the lavatory is being used both as a drain and a vent for the toilet. Now the way that we pipe a horizontal wet vent may vary depending on the approach. So we can come to those fixtures from a different angle. In this case, we come to the toilet from the left side. But similarly, we're going to branch off and the drain for the lavatory is going to be both a drain and a vent for the toilet. Let's have a look at one more option for this half bathroom. Keep in mind that each of these different approaches may be going in parallel with joists or other structures, or maybe we're going through them, but we're just trying to come to those fixtures from the best approach. Once again, the lavatory drain is being used both as a drain and a vent for the toilet. Now these are all very simple because there are only two fixtures involved. Let's look at some examples of where we have more fixtures involved and how we wet vent those. Here we have a typical bathroom group for our horizontal wet vent example two, a tub, a toilet, and a sink. We're going to use the sink drain as the horizontal wet vent. And we're going to come towards the toilet, branching off with three by two Ys. First we branch off to the tub as we're coming towards the toilet. Then we're gonna branch off for the lavatory. And that's gonna be the vent for all of these fixtures. Now let's follow this downstream from the lavatory to make sure that we're clear on what portions of the drainage are considered a vent. If we start at the sanitary T, where the lavatory connects and follow that downstream through the 90, through the 45, and then into that three by two Y, the vent continues down to the last or the farthest downstream fixture, which would be the tub connection. So the three inch pipe from the three by two Y where the lavatory is, to the three by two Y where the tub branches off is all considered horizontal wet vent. This provides air to each of those fixtures involved with this bathroom group.